Hi everyone, this video is designed to help you understand towing weights so you can tow safely, legally and efficiently. It came about because I posed some questions on my Facebook page about towing and they were really popular, it was seen by hundreds of thousands of people. So I thought I'd put together the questions and explanations of the answer into this YouTube video. It's important to understand this stuff because you run up against limits very quickly. As soon as you tow more than about 2,000 kilos in your average four-wheel drive, you're generally running up against one or more limits pretty quickly. Now I'm going to be using a bunch of terms like GCM, GTM and GVM. If you're not sure what they are, I do have other videos where they are explained. So I hope you find these videos useful and you're able to relate them to your real-world towing um, experiences. And now, on with the questions. So question one, when we connect this trailer to the tow car, which limit, if any, will be exceeded? So we know the vehicle mass is 2,800 kilos, the uh, gross trailer mass is 3,100, and the tow ball mass is 300. We know that the gross vehicle mass is 3,000, the GCM, 1,500, the, and that's the maximum the tow car and trailer can be and the vehicle itself can tow no more than 3100 kilograms so this is how it's worked out first thing you do is work out the vehicle mass then you work out the trailer mass and then you work out the combined mass so starting with the vehicle mass we know it's 2800 kilograms and that's as much load as is going to go in the car but then there's also the weight which needs to go on it as well and that we need to add in the tow ball mass. So that's 2800 plus 300, which gives us 3100 kilograms. The limit is GVM, which is 3000, so we're over by 100 kilograms on that score. Now we look at the trailer mass. Now the trailer mass is 3100 kilograms on the axles and tow ball mass of 300 kilograms. Combine them together and we get a total of 3400, which is how much the trailer weighs. The maximum tow is only 3100, so we're 300 kilograms over. Now, if you're thinking, hang on a minute, we, count, we counted the tow ball mass twice, is that right? Yes, it is right, because the tow ball mass is simultaneously pressing down on the vehicle to form part of its weight, but it is also part of the trailer. So you have to count it twice when you work out the vehicle mass and the trailer mass. Now we come out to the combined mass. The trailer weighs 3400 kilograms, and that is the the GTM and the TBM combined. The vehicle is 2800, we add those together to get 6200. Now you're thinking, hang on, what about that tow ball mass? Don't we add it twice? Well, no, when we're working out the combined mass, you only need to add it once because that's the total of the trailer and the tow car pressing down on the scales. Now the GCM, the, the maximum, all of that can weigh is 5900 kilograms and that means we're over by 300 kilograms there as well. So to get this within limits, then we'd have to reduce the vehicle mass by 100 kilograms. That would get the um, GVM within limit. We, we could then reduce the trailer mass by 200 kilograms, and then that would get the combined mass within limits. But we actually are 300 kilograms over on the trailer, so we need to drop that by 300. So by reducing the total mass of everything by a total of 400, which is 100 on the tow car, 300 on the trailer, then we'll actually be within limit on the combined mass. So question number two, so which limits, if any, will be exceeded when the people get in the car, that's 300 kilograms worth of people who have chosen not to disclose their individual weights when the trailer is hooked up? So let's work through this one. Okay, so the vehicle mass. 2,500 kilograms is what the vehicle weighs before anyone gets in it. We add 300 kilograms worth of load, that's the people, and we also factor in a 300 kilogram tow ball mass, and that brings us out to 3,100 kilograms. The GVM is 3,100 kilograms, so we are actually on the limit there. Now we work out the trailer mass. We've got a GTM of 3,000, a TBM of 300, total 3,300, and max tow of 3,300 actually on the limit there as well. Now we look at the combined mass. The trailer is 3,300, the vehicle is 2,800, add that to get it at 6,100. The GCM, however, is only 6,000 kilograms, so we're actually over by 100 kilograms. To fix that, we need to lose 100 kilograms. Now that can come out of the trailer, can come out of the tow car, or any combination thereof, as long as we lose 100 kilograms across the whole lot, um, then we're good. And someone pointed out the kids can stay at home. Yep, that would probably do it. 
Okay, uh, question number three then. How much payload is left in the tow car after the people get in and the trailer is hooked up? Again, we've got our 300 kilogram family there as well, and we're gonna get in this, this, uh, this rig. All right, so vehicle mass. Vehicle weighs 2,100 kilograms this time, and we're gonna add a 300 kilogram load into it, and we're going to account for a 300 kilogram towable mass, and that brings the total weight of the vehicle to 2,700 kilograms. Um, We've got a GVM of 3,000 kilograms, so we're 300 kilograms under. So at first glance, it looks like we have a 300 kilogram payload, which is the difference between the GVM and how much you've loaded the car up. Now we'll work out the trailer mass as well. We've got a GTM um, of 3,000, TBM 300, add that together 3,300, max so 3,300, so we're actually okay there as well, which is good. Now we work out the combined mass, we've got a trailer of 3,300. Now our vehicle weighs 2,400 kilograms, which is um, the 2,100 base weight, plus our 300 kilograms of people in it. And we're also going to allow ourselves that 300 kilogram payload we calculated earlier on, bringing the total to 2,700 kilograms. Now, uh, the table mass is of course accounted for in the trailer weight. So that brings us to 6,000 kilograms as a combined mass. Now the GCM is only 5,900 kilograms, so we're actually over by 100 kilograms. So what that means is we've got to reduce the weight of the combination by 100 kilograms, and the easiest way to do that is to simply drop the payload down from the planned 300 kilograms to 200 kilograms. So what we're seeing there is the vehicle payload being limited by the towball mass so, so but by the GCM as opposed to the GVM. Very important point. Now what's interesting about that scenario is that the vehicle's payload is not limited by the vehicle's GVM but by the GCM of that combination. So you've really got to look at every limit and figure out what the lowest one is and then that's the one you've got to run with. Okay, number four. What limits, if any, will be exceeded when this gets hooked up? Now, changing a couple of things here. So I'm just giving the ATM, which is the total weight of the trailer, and we're saying that, the, and that's normally what, what you would get when you're looking at a lot of this stuff. Not always, but, but sometimes. Um, and the TBM is 10% of the ATM. Now, there's also a bit more data here. We're gonna get into front and rear axle loads. And we're saying that the vehicle mass is 2650, and it's split 50-50 front and rear, and each axle load has a load limit which you cannot exceed. And it's really the rear axle that's important in towing here. I'm also giving the wheelbase and the rear axle edge. Now, if you're not sure what a wheelbase is or, or things like that, I do have another video on that which I'll link to. All right, let, let's work through um, how this is going to figure out. So vehicle mass, 2650 kilograms, TBM is 300 kilograms. Now we've worked it out because we've got the ATM, the total of the trailer. We take 10% of that in this particular case, 300 kilograms there. So we add that 2950 kilograms and then that gives us a GVM of, so we have a GVM of 3000 kilograms with 50 kilograms under. Under such limits do you work when you are towing heavy trailers. Now with the ATM, um, or with the trailer, we've got ATM of 3,000 kilograms, and that's pretty much it, that is, that is the maximum. The vehicle can tow, so actually on the limit there as well. On the combined mass, we've got a trailer of 3,000 kilograms. We've got a vehicle that weighs 2,650. Again, the towable mass is included in the, in the trailer. Um, and we add that together, we get 5,650. GCM of 6,000, we are fairly significantly under, 350 kilograms under, so happy days there. Now we come to the rear axle mass, which I haven't mentioned before because it's easier just to understand the other three before we get into the complication of the rear axle mass, but yes, that is important too. So how much weight is on each axle? Well, 2650 divided by two is 1325. So that's how much is on the front axle and the rear axle. We have a tow ball mass of 300 kilograms. Now this is where it gets tricky. Because the tow ball mass is acting um, well behind the rear axle, there's actually more weight on the rear axle than the towable mass itself by a factor of 1.5, which is the 3000 millimeter wheelbase divided by the 1500 overhang. So we have to multiply the 300 kilograms by 1.5, which gives us actually a force of 450 kilograms on the rear axle. And by the way, there's a corresponding reduction in weight on the front axle. 
So what that means is that the rear axle load is 1325 kilograms plus the 450 equals 1775. And I said there's a reduction on the front um, to, to compensate that of 150 kilograms. Now the rear axle limit is 1700 kilograms. So we are over by 75 kilograms on the rear axle limit. Now, if that's not clear, I might do another video to go through that in a bit more detail. So in this situation, we have exceeded the rear axle load, but everything else within limits. To fix that, we need to reduce the tow ball mass by 50 kilograms, which has the effect of reducing by 75, or just remove 75 kilograms on the rear axle. Again, maybe kids stay at home or something um, like that, and then you're back within limits. So this is an example of just how many different types of mass limit you have to work out before you can safely tow. Thanks for watching. If you found the videos useful, please subscribe and like and comment. Uh, but if you didn't, please comment anyway and let me know why not. I do plan on doing more of these in the future and they are for people who watch. So please let me know what you think. Thank you.